Okay. I think if we do it right here, like genuinely like sidewalk, public property, right? Is that a thing? I think so. There's a guy who is beautiful, who is in the car right in front of us. We actually have matching cars and he is beautiful. He looks like Drake. And I was like, we have to do this he's not here so he can't see. Turns out he's been sitting in his car this entire time. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? I am so excited because today we are launching my new merch shirts. You guys will see them throughout the video, but they are only available for the month of June. I have worked so hard on them, you don't understand. Like I made so many revisions and I've been working on them for a very long time. They're 80s inspired revival tees. If you guys want to hear more about them, check out my Instagram. But yeah, they're only available for the month of June. So if you guys like them, be sure to pick them up. I will love you guys forever. If you guys pick them up, I'll love you regardless. Don't worry, but yeah. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the ins and the outs of pretty much my entire Instagram, everything that we do. You guys will see it here. So yeah, if you guys are new here and you like this video, be sure to subscribe. I would love for you guys to stick around. I have those really good biscuits waiting for me. Like, you know the ones that are in like the tube and then you like have to like hit the counter and then you bake them? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Are they like Pillsbury? I don't even know, but they're so good. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I can eat them. My Instagram is Kenzie Elizabeth. If you guys are not following me, you guys should do that. Especially right now because I am on tour with Garage Clothing. When is this? Friday. Okay, uh, if you guys are watching this, tomorrow we are having a meetup in Chicago at the Woodfield Mall. Um, again, everything is on my Instagram. And then next weekend we're having one at Venice Beach in LA. So if you guys live in LA or Southern California as a whole, I would absolutely love if you guys could come and say hello. Anyways, on to the video. So the first thing, this is something, honestly, this is like a really big ordeal if I do this. I normally do shoot my photos on the go, but sometimes I will have like an Instagram thing if I really need to have some photos, because lately it's just, <sighs> mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll pick out some outfits, um, as you guys can see. Okay, so most of the time I take my Instagram photos on the go. I don't really like plan it out this much, but today I am planning it out because I'm shooting my new merch and just a few other outfits because my Instagram lately has been lacking and you guys need to know that I wear clothes. So I have this nice clothing rack in my room. This thing is so amazing. It comes in handy all the time because I'll like plan out my outfits for the week or especially for trips and stuff, I'll plan out my outfits and it is a lifesaver. I got it from Urban Outfitters, but I have some outfits that I'm gonna shoot some pics in all laid out here. I'm very prepared. The next thing, locations. Guys, there's so many things that you can do with the location. I really like shooting my stuff on the go, so that just means typically finding like a nice wall, nice background, whatever. I don't go too crazy with the backgrounds. It's, there's so many things that you can do. You can do like more lifestyle, so at a coffee shop, that's a good one. Um, a nice car one. And then, of course, you have the classic wall photos. Number three, poses. For this outfit, this is just the solid wall outfit of the day picture. This is my OOTD pick, if you will. But there's multiple different angles that you guys can do. Some people take it this way, some people take it this way, and some people take it this way. I personally am a fan of this angle. You know, I kind of just like move a bunch. I don't really have like go-to poses for outfit pictures unless like you think I do. I feel like I put my hands in my pockets a lot, which is not the best. Just do a bunch of a bunch of random things. Stick your butt out and make your legs look better. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the classic coffee pick. This is a good go-to. It's very easy because I literally get coffee every day. It's 2 p.m. and this is the second time I'm at Alfred's for the day. So we're gonna take a car picture. This is when you're sitting in your car and you take a picture. It's crazy. But a nice little trick is to just throw a jacket on because I'm gonna shoot in this outfit, but if I throw a jacket on, you can't tell that I'm wearing the same outfit. It's like a completely different thing, you know? So it's gonna be from the side. You're not gonna see the shirt. It's genius. I cannot, but like, I don't want those cars in the background. Do you like my shirt? Cute, right? Okay. Yeah, cause like, I don't want the, it's gonna look a little weird. I do this all the time though, if I've already. Gotta hand it off to Whitley and let him do it. 
Oh, oh the dog. I love the dog. So cute. Oh. Okay, took a bunch of photos. I also. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I also did a hair flip. That's also very important when it comes to anything that I do. My hair gets really flat and it's just not a move. Um, also, if you guys know what coffee I got, let me know in the comments down below. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Oh, nice shirt, right? Um, there's also like the flower wall pick. These are nice because flowers are pretty. It's cute. Instead of doing like a solid wall for the day, you can do a flower one. You know, just like really changing it up. This video is so dumb, but this is just what you guys asked me about. So, okay. Found some flowers in someone's driveway. We're gonna, he just, the guy just walked out to it. I think he hates us. It's not like someone's driveway, it's like a complex, and I think it's public property. It's not. I'm just trying to hope it's not better. It'll be okay. Oh, I, never mind. Okay. Okay. I think if we do it right here, like genuinely, like sidewalk, public property, right? Nothing. I think so. Right? Or. I think so. That's okay, right? Breaking the law. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's just do it really quick. Took a bunch of pics. Very, very, very. Those aren't cute. Yep. See, this is what really happens. There's just a ton. So now we're here taking a really obnoxious gas station picture. You just, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes also. Great shirt, uh, uh, link in bio. Adding on to the car photos, you just, ha this is also one where you're in here, you have a coffee, it's like this whole ordeal. Uh, this try angle's best. actually really good. Angel's out of the car. This is always a pretty solid go-to, and um, the lighting is always pretty good, so like you can't really go wrong. See, especially overcast. Overcast lighting is the best. She's like, her knees, like, when you stop like, I was not planning on playing on my tank. Everyone here hates us. <laughs> Number four, lighting. So, um, there's so many things you can do. I personally like cloudy lighting the best when it's kind of like overcast. That lighting for me is like perfect. Um, if you guys are shooting in a house, um, there's a ring light. Ring lights are amazing. They also cost a little bit of money, so if you guys don't have a ring light and you don't care to buy one, um, natural lighting is best right by a window. So if you're taking a selfie or whatever, do it from a window because then you get the best lighting on your face. Um, natural lighting is always really good. It's not too harsh. It's not too forced. It's good. Number five, saved photos. I know that I've talked about this before, but saved photos really do change the game for me. You can just get so much inspiration from what you save. Like, I just will randomly save so many photos on my Instagram just because I think they're cool. I like what they're wearing in it. I like the pose. I like the style. I like the location. Like, anything. Like, I save photos all the time. And that is, like, a really big thing. Honestly, it helps me a ton. The next thing I'm going to be talking about are my film photos. So recently I made a video where it was talking about like my Polaroid photos and like how to get a Polaroid effect on Instagram. I started using disposables as well and a lot of you guys have been asking me how I edit those. Again, they're just disposable cameras. Anyways, this shirt is really cute. Only available for the month of June, so check it out. But we're going to photo lab where I get my pictures developed. This is where I get all my disposables like printed and yeah. This is really fun because it's like Christmas because you have all these pictures. I don't honestly only know, I have no idea what's even on this. I do this all the time, but it's so exciting. So, this is the very exciting part. I love this. And then I scan them on a printer. They're literally all fuzzy. There's like literally five photos. They didn't even give me, what? Okay, well normally it's more exciting. That sucks. They're just normal disposable cameras and then I will get them developed and then I scan them and that's literally all I do. If you guys wanna see another video where I talk about how to get a disposable camera effect, 
um, on a photo. I will figure it out for you guys and I will do it because you guys are really liking that video. It's like, but yeah, I kind of just took you through a day of if I'm gonna shoot through like an Instagram. Normally, again, I do do this on the go, but I felt like you guys could get a lot more out of it if I had it all planned and stuff, which a lot of people do do that. And I have done it before. I just don't like doing it as much anymore because I like my Instagram to just be like very like, this is my life, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to some of you guys. If you guys are trying to step up your Instagram game, I'm always trying to and I feel like Mike can always do better. If you guys like this shirt, be sure to check it out and check out the other two that are linked down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I will see you soon.